everyone this is the ajay shah and you are watching ajay's costing concept right as we have discussed we had promised that a case study digest series shall be provided to you on our youtube videos and in the lectures that we are providing this recent case study digest we are here to discuss one of those important topics today right on the basis of that one of those important topics what we are going to discuss this topic where we shall be parting in every our case study digest lectures or this series what we are recording the whole lecture will be divided into three parts part number 1 the concept that we would be taking today part number 2 the implementation of the questions of that concepts that are given in case study digest and part number 3 the conclusion that how in exams this kind of questions or from this concept what kind of questions what should be your solution how should you approach to the solution that we shall discuss so today we are discussing a concept of just in time a concept of just in time shall be discussed today where we shall be first discussing with techniques because just in time is a chapter from lean systems right and lean system chapter the technique one is of the lean one where to call it is of just in time so a brief introduction of just in time first it is just in time is what basically you purchase only when it is required right excess stock excess purchase stock taking then uh, maintaining those stock that is what carrying cost of those stocks are to be avoided directly a purchase is to be done whenever it is required and provided on the floor of production there is no need of storage of goods that is what just in time is so basically there are various advantages of this Uh, the first advantage is as i said it is reduction in inventory it is reduction in space requirement and it is definitely lower production cost why there is a lower production cost because the loading unloading time storage space right labor efficiencies that labor counting all those are reduced all those are eliminated and because of which our uh, just in time purchase gives you a better that is there is a savings in cost did this advantage are also some some of those disadvantages are that number 1 it may interrupt your production if in case your supplier is not able to provide you if in case the supplier is not able to deliver you goods in time what you require it may uh, the production may be uh, you know that that may be stopped or you may not be able to produce well secondly it is uh, increasing orders admin cost because there are a lot of number of orders in uh, inter you have learned that there is a concept of uh, eoq economic order quantity where you always know that this at this level the cost or at this level the quantity what we order we shall be getting at this lead time and this much would be the ordering cost but over here as there are number of orders that will increase because you will be ordering as and when required so that is one of those advantage and it is highly dependent on supplier that is what i have discussed already right process first receive orders from customers how do you, how the just in time works out so what is the process so the first thing is receive order from customers the moment you receive your order from customers you intimate to your suppliers about the raw material then you straight away deliver to production floor the moment you intimate to your suppliers a straight away production or straight away delivery is done to the production floor from that you complete the production and then you deliver or dispatch to your customers right this is how just in time works now this was a small brief of just in time how what kind of questions can be asked from just in time see there are three kind of questions that can come from just in time number one the common question is that what kind of or you can say uh, the first that common is that uh, the question will require you the solution right a solution of comparison of cost what is the cost as of now what is the cost if company is following just in time so that kind of questions are normally asked number two is will you suggest a strategy of just in time so basically a strategy is provided a strategy is given you are supposed to suggest them whether the strategy is to be done or not and number 3 the benefits advantage is whether company should follow just in time or whether the company should not follow just in time what are the reasons that company should not follow just in time all such kind of uh, you know consultancy kind of questions or in a case a scenario skill based questions where you will be able to answer that whether it is advantage for the company or disadvantage for the company so this is what a small brief of just in time was right a just in time as i already said this is a chart what we have prepared to revise your just in time now there is also a 
back plushing accounting just in time there are two kind of cells working cells kaban card theory what we have discussed in our class and in fact in revision sessions also what we have discussed this so the uh, the moment i start with my case study scenarios we start with our question number 13 of skill based questions right question number 13 of skill based questions is of just in time so how does this work now let us read the question first right So there are three questions of just in time in the material provided. We shall start with question number thirteen, and then we shall proceed with the next coming questions. So first, Innovation Limited has entered into a contract of supply of a component to a company which manufactures electric equipment. Right? Expected demand of the component will be seventy thousand units totally for all the periods. So the total expectation is of seventy thousand units for all the periods. expected sales and production cost would be in the first period the production or the sales would be 9500 17000 18500 and 25000 this is what it is expected and if you consider the total it will be 70000 units that are going to be sold the variable cost would be 30 30 32.5 and 35 rupees uh, for your production the total fixed costs are expected to be 14 lakhs for all the periods the Production manager has to decide about the production plan. The choices are plan one, plan two. The plan one says that produce a constant rate of seventeen thousand five hundred units per period. Every period you produce seventeen thousand five hundred units, right? And inventory holding cost would be six point five per unit of an average inventory period per period. So I would produce seventeen thousand five hundred. My sale might be say for example nine thousand. Or ten thousand, then that excess inventory would be carried, or the excess inventory would be dispatched for the period of the next period, right? And then in again next period, I would produce seventeen thousand five hundred units. Again, in that demand would be fulfilled. So basically, if you understand, so for four period, if you manufacture seventeen thousand five hundred into four, definitely you are producing seventy thousand units only, and that is what the demand is of. But instead of deciding. how much to be produced in first quarter second quarter or third period or fourth period or we have a constant rate of production of 17500 units plan 2 use a just in time system see now we have to use a just in time system how maximum capacity per period normally is 18000 units so you cannot produce more than 18000 units per period right it can produce further up to 10000 units per period in over time important if you do over time you can produce 10000 units additional so basically maximum capacity is only of 18000 units but if you do over time you can reach to 10000 units further so basically 28000 units can be produced if over time is done each unit produced in over time would incur additional cost equal to 30% of expected variable cost per unit of that period very important 30% variable cost of that period so in a period where i do a, a overtime in that period i will incur 30% extra for that overtime right so basically variable cost normal cost would be incurred but 30% extra would be incurred if an overtime is done so say for that period the word of that period means what that in period 1 if in period 1 i produce over we go for over time right so we will be incurring extra cost of 30 plus 30% of 30 right this is what we will be incurring additional cost for over time whenever we go to now required calculate the incremental production cost and the savings in inventory holding cost by just in time production system advise the company to choose on the plan that which plan company should choose so basically here two options we have number 1 every year i produce every period i produce 17500 units <coughs> <coughs> sorry every period i produce 17500 units at a constant rate for four periods where inventory carrying carrying cost would be 6.5 per unit now in inter ca inter or ipc you would have learned that how to calculate a inventory carrying cost in our classes also we have taught this that your opening inventory is for example opening inventory is of 1000 units and your closing inventory is of zero then what we do is 
that we do opening plus closing divided by 2 to find that average inventory average inventory for that period and that is the holding so because day 1 you are holding 1000 units day 2 might decrease day 3 to it will keep on decreasing on the day 30 at the month's end it becomes 0 so my carrying cost I have to calculate an average and that is the reason why I do opening plus closing divided by 2 now here the carrying cost in first is 6.5 so we need to understand how much units first we will carry in each period now understand that the demand the sales demand of each units are provided right it is said that 9500 units 17000 18500 and 21000 25000 units are produced now if 9500 units are sold and in that period i am producing 17500 units that means there are 17500 minus 9500 8000 units that i am carrying for the period 2 so an inventory carrying cost of that 8000 units 8000 plus 0 divided by 2 because i am starting with 8000 i will sell dispatch 8000 it will become 0 then for the period 2 the production will start again i will sell right so in that case 8000 plus 0 divided by 2 that amount that is 4000 into 6.5 per unit the inventory average carrying cost would be for period 1 right I'll, I'll discuss the whole solution, we shall uh, find out the whole solution, but just understanding one period for uh, our example. Second, there won't be any carrying cost further for period 1, that is what we calculated 4000 to 6.5. But if I go for just in time, right, just in time says what, that maximum capacity would be 18,000. And if you do over time, you will do 10,000, for you can do 10,000 for that period. Now understand, if my year 1 demand or my sales is 9500 and what a concept of just in time says that just in time concept says that produce as and when required so in period 1 i'll be producing only 9500 units and i'll be selling 9500 units because my capacity is of 18000 units in normal and over time 10000 extra so basically i will produce 9500 and i will sell 9500 so there won't be a question of carrying cost anyways right but in the period say for example in the year in the third period what i understand in the third period the demand is of 18500 units but if i follow just in time i can produce only 18000 units so to extra fulfill the demand of 500 units i have to go for an overtime and the moment we decide for overtime what will happen is that 500 units extra for that 500 units extra, I will incur a variable cost per unit of 32.5, definitely. But I will incur 30% of 32.5 for that extra 500 units, right? So, the total cost that I would be incurring for manufacturing or for producing or for selling 18,500 units for period 3 would be how much? Would be your 18,000 units at 32.5 and your 500 units at 32.5 plus 30 percent of 32.5 that would be my total cost for that period right now coming to the solution before i discuss the solution what institute or what the, uh, it is provided over here there are two ways the solution can be done it is on your comfort zone which way you are finding it easy to solve your uh, question number one first approach of what i would say that what this uh, material has also been provided that first you ca calculate what is the carrying cost in current that is plan 1 you calculate what is the extra cost or additional cost overtime cost in just in time right so comparison of carrying cost with additional cost or overtime cost where we are saving then part 2 in the same i am not saying plan 2 i am saying i am saying what is the solution method 1 for that second uh, uh, step Second step is calculate total variable cost under plan 1 and calculate total variable cost under plan 2. Sir, why we are calculating that? The variable cost will remain same, right, for both the plans. Exactly, but understand, in the plan 1, you will produce 17,500 units for all the 4 quarters or all the 4 periods. So, in that case, 17,500 into 30 for period 1, 17,500 into 30 for period 2, 17500 for period into 34 period 3 and 
17,500 into 35 for period 4. But when it comes to plan 2 just in time, you will produce as in what it is required. So, first year requirement is 9,500. 9,500 into 30. Second year, 17,000 into 30. Third year, 18,500 into 32.5. So, variable cost in plan 1. I repeat, I repeat, concentrate. Variable cost in plan 1 for the third period would be 17,500 into 32.5. Because standard production is 17,500. Yes, in plan 1, variable cost for period 2 would be 17,500 into 30. For period 1 would be 17,500 into 30. But understand this variable cost in plan 2 would be 9,500 into 30 for period 1, 17,000 into 30 for period 2, 18,500 into 32.5 for period 3 and 25,000 into 35. So, then I will compare variable cost under plan 1, variable cost under plan 2. What is the net saving or extra cost uh, that I am incurring? And step 1, what was the inventory cost with my carrying cost that I am incurring? That would be my step, uh, sorry, uh, carrying cost with just in time, overtime cost I will be comparing. Net saving or profit or net saving or additional cost, whether just in time is to be followed or not, that would be advised. This is method 1. Method 2, you go for total approach. What is total approach? Total cost under plan 1. So, first is variable cost, second is carrying cost and you are done with total cost. Total cost under plan 2, first is variable cost, second is overtime cost. Then you compare total cost of plan 1 and plan 2. On that comparison, you will be able to find out which is better, whether uh, we should follow just in time as is plan 2 or plan 1. That can also be followed. It is also one of those easy methods that you can try out and accordingly you can suggest. Second is what their question asking is advise the company on the choice of plan. So, then you should need to advise which plan you should go. That is that is what I said that just in time questions are all dependent on what, what the just in time questions are dependent on. The just in time questions are all dependent on what? What is the savings in just in time then compared to the current plan or plan one that you are following. Now, see how institute has done. First of all, to find out what would be the inventory holding cost, you need to calculate what would be the holding quantity for period 1, period 2, period 3, period 4. So, for that as opening is not mentioned, right, we shall take 0, correct and considering that in the first, if you observe every quarter 70,500 units are produced, so every period 70,500, 70,500, 70,500, 70,500, for the first period, the sale would be 9,500, so what happens is, there is a carrying of 8000 units. That is what I discussed. This 8000 becomes opening for the next period. In that, again, you will produce 17500, right? So, again, 17500 will produce, and you will be the demand is 17000 in that period. So, in that period, you are carrying 8500 units. Now, 8500 units divided by 2, you get 4 to 8500 units that you are carrying. Average inventory, if I talk about. So, it is A plus B opening plus closing divided by 2. So, 8000 plus 8500 would be 8250. This is 8000 plus 8250. Sorry, 8000 plus 8500 divided by 2. Right? Because in the first it was 0 plus 8000 divided by 2. Right? Now, this is multiplied with 6.5 to get total what to get total inventory carrying cost right and that is how our uh, inventory carrying cost is calculated how you got 3750 over here it is 7500 plus 0 divided by 2 so this is what and this is multiplied with 6.5 so on the basis of this if you calculate you will get total holding cost for the four periods right secondly now in the second plan 2 what will be the additional overtime cost now, you understand, first you can produce maximum 18,000 units, your capacity is of 18,000 units, right? So, 9,000 first, 9,500 units, second period, 17,000 units. So, there is no question of overtime, there is no question of overtime. In the third period, you are producing 18,500 because the demand is of 18,500. So, definitely you have to produce 500 in the overtime. How much additional cost will incur for that overtime? 30. 
50% of that variable cost of that period. Now see, this is additional cost. I will not incur 30%. I will not incur 30% cost. I will incur additional 30% cost. So 500 into 30% if you do, you will be able to get this solution of 4875. Right? And in the third period, 25,000 is demand. Basically, you will be able to produce only 18,000. So, 7000 is the additional units that you are producing. For that 7000 extra cost is 35 ka 30 percent. This is 35 ka 30 percent, right? And then when you multiply with this, you will get this solution. So, then you will be able to calculate total cost of overtime. And then you will compare what is the cost of overtime with inventory. I We will be getting either savings or that is what we will be able to find out. 115 here it is 156 156 triple zero and here it is 78 375 so basically we are saving in our uh, just in time plan 2 if we go for only considering this cost but wait hold on we have what we have we have is our second uh, cost is the variable cost right so in all the four quarters if you observe it will be 17500 30 into 17,500, 30 into 17,500, right? 32.5 and 35. That would be multiplied to calculate this amount of variable cost, right? But if you understand, in when it comes to the point of variable cost calculation of variable cost calculation of plan two, it would be 9,500 into 30, 17,500 into 30, 17,000 into 30, 32.5 into 18 and 35 so this would be the total variable cost as per plan 2 total variable cost as per plan 1 and then when you will compare you will come to know that whether there is a net savings or whether there are additional costs so when it comes to savings over here we have 23 22000 of what savings we have been doing is can be calculated that is 22031 what the uh, total variable cost over here would be and 2271 is what the total cost here would be. So you are saving 70, 40,000 over here, right? And additional savings, what you have already done, what we have calculated over here is of 78 and 156. So basically, what extra cost, what incremental cost that would be incurring in production? 118 over here and 156 in our that overtime cost would be. So total saving would be 37,655, right? Now, in this whole solution, what we have discussed, we have not gone through or we have not considered what? We have not considered fixed overhead cost, right? Why we have not considered fixed overhead cost? Because any plan you follow, fixed overhead would remain same. So, there won't be a question of incremental fixed overhead or decremental or change in fixed overhead. And that is the reason why I am writing a note over here for your understanding this. As Fixed overhead will not change in any plan, so ignore. Right? You can also consider this, and this would be helpful for you also to understand for fixed overhead. Now, as we already know, there is a saving, right? So, what would be the advice that you would give? You would always advise that due to the due to this, there is a saving in just in time, and accordingly. A just in time should be considered right but understand now you are into ca final right so you cannot say that as there is that would be fine enough it would, it would have been your school days or inter that as there is a saving in just in time company should follow such in time here yeah, such kind of advice won't give you full marks right so what kind of advice are required any before taking any final call which are as follows what other factors are to be also be considered that you will say right other factors are also very very important so it is not just a question where you will say okay follow just in time there is a saving that's it done no advice why just in time is to your advising but what are other factors always remember this is one of those very important for your providing your solutions in your exam right as i said part number three while providing solutions what things you should take care it is not the such kind of things or it is not such kind of exams where you would just say that follow this answer a very diplomatically you are a chartered accountant and you would become a chartered accountant after giving, giving this exam. So, your answer should be very, very much diplomatic, right? So, you are in a favor. 
right you have a soft corner you are in a favor of this solution but if you follow this solution there are various other factors that also you should consider such kind of solutions are required in exam so what they have said is first thing you may follow just in time but what you should consider innovation has to ensure that it receives material from solar on exact date and exact time when they are required important because if you do not get that you will go stock out and you won't be able to fulfill the demand then there won't be any question of savings right it would may lead you to additional cost or lose a market share point number 2 to remove any quality issues the engineering staff must visit suppliers visit examine their process because when you directly provide material to your floor space what goes wrong is that the quality may not be checked right normally what happens is that the production is been received the goods raw material are received they go for quality check then they are transferred to production line but in just in time such methods are not followed they are directly transferred to production floor and that is the reason why we need to visit our suppliers to check whether a proper uh, quality has been maintained or not third is innovation also improve quality of process and design zero defect right in the aim production and also keep in mind the efficiency of its workforce right innovation ensure that labor learning curve has reached a steady level so that they are capable of performing the various operations effective and efficient manner the workforce must continuously retrain and focus in wide range of activities so you should not be having a deficiency or you should not be ineffective your labor force right that are the various factors that should be considered so such kind of solutions are expected by institute when it comes to advisory right so as i said first we started with the concepts the uh, concept of just in time a small brief second i discussed the question i discussed the solution there are two methods as i said this is one method that they have followed about incremental additional cost method you can also follow total approach method where total variable cost in the plan 1 total variable cost in the plan 2 total carrying cost in the plan 1 total uh, overtime cost in the plan 2 and compare fixed overhead is not considered because it is ignored right third how will you advise how your advice should be in your question right this is what a question number 13 of just in time of your skill based question from case study digest is fine so let us come with the next question question number 2 right that is for just in time the second question what we were discussing we have discussed question number 13 now second question that is question number 15 of skill based question impacts electronics that is iel a uh, second question of just in time that is question 15 of skill based question of case study digest right now let us read this impacts electron limited is manufacturing wide varieties of torches operated on power batteries specially designed for tracking and travelers apart from domestic use for which they purchase bulbs and glow lights bulbs and bulbs that is uh, they purchase bulbs from glow lights and bulbs right mostly g3 m1 screw 7.5 bulbs is used in torch due to lockdown and outbreak of covid 19 uh, that is what the situation is right so because of that uh, the factory is allowed to work at one third of the capacity considering the same production department slows down the production causing a huge pile of inventory of raw material this will be expected to result in high storage cost right because of covid 19 the production has fallen from uh, the production fallen to one third of the total capacity and because of what the products the raw material purchase has been piled up a lot and storage cost will be increased definitely that is what happens and that is the reason why we follow just in time correct now considering the same production department slows down the production causing high pay inventory this will expect result in high storage cost hence to attain cost effectiveness eil decided to move from traditional system to just in time system in a phased manner there are two major departments operating in iel uh, purchase and production in the first phase uh, the purchase department is considering the adoption of just in time purchasing the annual demand for g3 1 uh, m screw is 24000 units at iel so we require 24000 units annually right presently the purchase price is of 80 per bulb this is purchase price for 80 per bulb right Uh, currently the annual demand is ordered at 24 orders of equal size so basically 24000 units are ordered in 24 orders so basically we have 1000 units per order that is what we are ordering right further uh, moving further just in for material handling insurance carrying cost goods incurring is the cost of two 
uh, 1 and 1.5 this is the additional cost that we are incurring 2 rupees 1 rupees and 1.5 so this total comes to 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1.5 4.5 rupees is the additional carrying cost that we are incurring per unit per annum. Under just in time, the price expected to increase by 80.5. So, see, this will increase by 80.5. GLB is a reputed company for quality of its product and timely delivery. As a result of frequent orders, the number of orders increased to 120. So, we will have 120 orders. Originally, there were 24 orders what we were placing. Now, we have 120. And that's just in time. So, ordering cost will increase because of number of orders have also increased. Almost 5 times the orders are now. The order size decreased proportionately. Material handling cost is expected to reduce to 1.2 which was originally at 4.5. Whereas, other carrying cost will be uh, reduced by 0.5 and insurance cost would remain at same level. So, total material carry handling cost was 2. It has gone 1.2. Instead of insurance of 1, that will remain same. And other carrying cost would be 0.5. So, originally this was 2 plus 1 plus 1.5 that was uh, 4.5. Now, it will become 1.2 plus 0.5 plus insurance will remain same. So, it will become 2.7 the cost would be right. Now, further. So, from 4.5 we have reduced to 2.7. Moving onwards. Lower inventory level will cost stock out cost of 5 per unit on 0.25% of annual demand. So, the annual demand of 0.25% will not be able to meet and that we have stock out cost of 5 per unit. And annual rate of return that is expected rate of return is 16%. Always remember this 16% is of always purchase price. Remember this is very very important. This is always on purchase price. Right, so 16 percent will be calculated of purchase price that is what the return is expected. Is a just in time process is different from purchase and production department? State the reason to support your opinion. The first question whether just in time is different in coming to purchase and production? Yes, it is different. Just there is a two things just in time purchase, just in time production. Just in time purchase is purchase as and when required, just in time production is produce and as and when required. Right. State any three areas in which just in time purchasing may reduce cost significantly. The important three areas that is the advantages of just in time. So, basically, this is what this is advantage of this is advantage of just in time that we need to uh, understand and comment whether EIL should move just in time. So, then we have to comment, we have to answer whether uh, just in time should be followed or not. Now, what is just in time philosophy? The just in time production and just in time are both the different things. Just in time, very very important understand. Just in time is a management philosophy based upon demand of pull system rather than push system, right? So as and when required, pull system, as and when required, produce as and when required, purchase as and when required. So this is called it pull system, pull system rather than supply push system. Throughout the plant, in order to reduce cost with a single piece flow after considering take time. Just in time process different from purchase, different for purchase and production due to inner and range of function they render despite the pur uh, purpose of both to decluster store or assembly line with the production floor and reduce the cost. The ambition or the conclusion or the output would be the same that reduction in cost right. Uh, you the cluster is to be the, uh, the cluster is to be broken is, we need to do decluster of the same the storage as well as assembly line uh, should be directly the production line. But very important uh, before we consider that too, uh, it is one and the same whether you come with just in time production or to just in time uh, time, right? Whereas, if just in time applied by the production team uh, is applied for the production, but it is termed as just in time production, and if it is applied for uh, purchase, it is known as just in time purchase, right? Now, next three, what are uh, the areas where just in time is expected to reduce? The first is interest cost of working capital, second is uh, carrying cost and number three uh, important is wastage and scrap because of the more you carry the more you store there are times there would be a wastage there would be a scrap that is what so very important first one was in uh, interest and working capital because you will not have inventory as your storage so there is no question of blockage of working capital in that inventory that is the first thing second is reducing storage cost that is very very important one of those advantage of just in time the third one is 5 shots easy so the, the first S of 5 S 
right so we call it pie sort what we call it as cd what you call it as right and the fourth one is wastage and scrap will be less due to relative reduction in evaporation tendency of absoluteness so material will not get absolute because you are only doing producing as when required purchasing as in when required now we need to compare the cost so over here the solution of question number 13 and the solution of question number 15 what we have i will discuss the approach right in question number 13 we had approach what that you can do it by two ways over here also you can follow it by two ways but the advisable method over here is a total approach because over here we are being given with purchase here we are given with ordering cost here we are given with carrying cost we are given with expected rate of return and uh, because of that if we go for total approach total cost in the present uh, present situation and total cost under just in time and then you compare you can also go for incremental approach or a differentiation approach where purchase cost over is 80 over is 80.5 so if i go in just in time from uh, this uh, present situation to just in time if i follow my cost will be higher by 0.5 right so accordingly my rate of return will be 16 percent of 0 0.05 what would be the higher right but that would lead to a bit of confusion in examination all under that pressure you may get confused so it is advisable to follow total approach when when a total approach is advisable i will just write it down for you you may also note it down this is important total approach is advisable when all kind of cost are provided example purchase cost of storage ya yeah, carrying whatever you call it as ordering right etc etc now see in this solution in the first 24000 units would be purchased at 80 rupees second 24 orders will be placed so basically 24 orders into ordering cost right that is 10 rupees is provided third if you will place 24 orders your every order of 24000 by 24 if i do it will be 1000 units right so 1000 units would be carrying 1000 plus 0 opening plus closing divided by 2 into your carrying cost of 4.5 plus your expected required is 16 percent of 80 that would be the cost in this first scenario so understand in the present situation 24000 into 80 24 orders into 10 1000 into 80 uh, your opportunity carrying cost what we call it as a required rate of return and 1000 into 2 divided by into 4.5 that would be your cost in the present situation that total comes to 19,28,890 in the situation of just in time the purchase cost would be 24,000 into 80.5 right you will place 120 orders directly they have given so 120 orders into 10 so this 24 orders it was if you place 120 orders so basically if i place how this 200 i got is that is 24000 divided by 120 orders if i do right so i will get 200 units 200 units divided by 2 200 units plus 0 divided by 2 you can do and you will have uh, your opportunity cost of 80.05 into 0.16 and 3.2 would be your carrying cost correct further there is a question of storage uh, stock out cost stock out cost would be 5 rupees of 0.25 into 24,000. This is important, very important, and that way your cost in the just in would be 19.24 and you will be saving 4589, right? Hence, it is advisable, but considering other factors should also be considered before you switch on to just in time in the economic variable decision, right? This is the working note that we have done the how we calculated carrying cost, how we calculated uh, uh, opportunity. Uh, average inventory levels and this is how you would be able to solve this question coming to the third question of just in time right the third question of just in time is question number 5 of skill based question see coming to that question now understand it is also one of those very very important so coming to question number 5 now this is 
very important question see the sequence of teaching was 13 first 15 and then 5 skill based question 13 15 and 5 right why we started with 13 why we didn't started with 5 13 and 15 i took you from 13 to 15 and then i am taking you to the 5 the reason behind that is 13 is comparatively easy a uh, one more step from there we go to 15 where we consider consider total cost and why total approach should be followed and next what we consider is question number 5 which is a very very good question of just in time so when it comes to the revision part of just in time a must do revision of question number 5 this will give you a brief revision of just in time concept right reading question number 5 des like delight engineering solution uh, is manufacturing product CAF5 from use of single raw material. CIA100, the two major department operational in digital engineering solution are purchase and production. DES is facing high competition due to large number of competitors in market. Demand of CAF5 is fluctuating. Therefore, high storage cost is prime cause of low financial performance. DES can be decided to move from traditional system to just in time system now from purchase and store following data is collected annual consumption is of 1800 units of cia now important understand from here we will start marking so 1800 is the annual consumption price of each unit of cia is 4000 rupees the cost of placing order is 2000 and the cost of carrying one unit per year is two percent this two percent is of what two percent is of purchase price right company presently uses eoq model so first thing is you need to calculate eoq over here right eoq if you remember in your inter you have remained under root 2 ao upon c right so 2 into annual requirement into ordering cost your by carrying cost per unit purchase manager further estimated that if just in time is implemented ordering cost will increase by 50 percent from current level so whatever is the ordering cost right now it will increase from 50 percent from the current level so current ordering cost is of 2000 it will become 50 percent more that is 50 percent of 2000 is 1000 so it will become 3000 whereas carrying cost will be avoided up to avoided up to 90 percent right understand the terminology it would be avoided up to 90 percent but this is prospective order of five units uh, there is a prospective order of five units of ca which cannot be can't be served so we will have a loss of five units stock outs of cif and due to non level stock and fill up delivery supplier contribution of each unit is 1200 so we will have a stock out of 5 units because of which a contribution of 1200 would be lost because we will not be able to deliver this and as we will not be able to deliver this we shall be losing 1200 rupees of contribution on this 5 units stock insurance cost will reduce by 400 on annual basis right this will be reducing from uh, by 400 and further there would be also be a reduction in working habit requirement which result in interest saving of 500 on annual basis further production and engineering department supported by marketing department provide details that present average production of cif is 150 units per month although for next four months expected demand will be 150 120 160 140 and 180 maximum capacity of man hours uh, perspective is 150 units that what we have maximum hours is only 150 so in the present situation we are producing 150 units remember question number 13 what we did right 17500 for all the four periods similarly over here 150 on an average they are producing and if you observe that the next month demand is of 120 160 140 and 180 the total of this four 120 plus 160 140 plus 180 would be also be 150 right two main hours for producing each unit and labor rate per hour is 3 right so 20 man hours are required for producing each unit and the labor uh, per hour is 3 casual labor is not available in market overtime will be 200 percent very very important overtime will be 200 percent average monthly cost of storage of each item is 65 this is what is happening now explain just in time purchase and production the effect of introduction this is what we have already discussed right uh, in question number 15, what is just in time purchase? What is just in time production? It has the same, the conclusions of the results or the objectives are same, but one leads to purchase as and when required, one leads to produce uh, production as and when required, right? Under, under this traditional system. So, prerequisite just in time or production is integration with vendor. 
so this is the whole explanation is right now the second what they are asking is compute cost saving relative moves to just in time purchase and compute cost saving relative moves to just in time production very very important these two questions are what is the cost saving if i go for purchase what is the cost saving if i go for production so if you understand the whole question if i divide that this two paragraph what you are what uh, what it is on the second and the third paragraph is all about purchase the fourth paragraph is all about production right first let us focus on purchase we already know that we are following eoq system right now so first we'll calculate what is the economic order quantity second what we do is what is the total cost of economic order quantity the concept of ca inter that what you have done right the total cost of economic order quantity we will calculate third after finding that we will calculate total cost of purchase if just in time system is followed right and then we shall compare both of them now see if i talk of this the first is eoq annual requirement is 1800 units right you have 2000 per order is ordering cost and your carrying cost is 2% of 4000 that is 80 so your total eou is 300 units now what you will do as per 300 units you will compare the present cost now what would be the purchase the purchase price over here if i see there is no change in purchase price see the purchase price what they have given is that company would be able to purchase at 4000 uh, this unit right if i go for just in time there is no question of change in purchase price so when i go for total approach also any cost which is not changing we shall not compare the same so we shall not compare that cost but obviously because any i in that 180 minutes i calculate purchase at the present purchase cost at the present purchase cost for just in time and it is one and the same so it will just waste your time it will not fulfill or it will not provide you the right solution that is required right so purchase cost that is what you will calculate it is not required but yes purchase cost is required to calculate the carrying cost so at right now i am ordering 1800 units where my eou is 300 eoq uh, economic order quantity is 300 units so i will place 600 orders right 600 orders shall be placed and on the basis of uh, sorry uh, 1800 into divided by 300 six orders will be placed at a cost of 2000 that would be 12000 is the total cost that i would incur in just in time what they are saying is the just in time cost would increase by 150% if you understand the cost will increase by 150% that is what they have mentioned over here see the ordering cost will increase by 50% of current labor here they have not given how many numbers would of orders would be increase they have mentioned is your ordering cost would increase so basically if it is 12000 over here in the present situation it will become 150% total will be 150 of 12000 that is 18000 what your cost would be moving onwards further next is my uh, inventory carrying cost right so if i pro, if i pro, uh, purchase 300 units in my eoq so 300 plus 0 divided by 2 that is 2% of 80 rupees that i will incur a cost of so what would be the cost of e carrying 300 divided by 2 into 80 but over here just in image will be 90% in comparison to total present so this 1200 is basically uh, 10% this is 10% of 12000 as it will be 90% in comparison to present cost it would be reduced stock out cost is one of those important 500 units will be stock out because of 1200 the cost will be so it would be 600 uh, just in a reduction stock insurance cost would reduce ultimately by 400 and this would be the opportunity cost would be saved by 500 so this figures why they are in minus because there is this is savings in cost because they are generally a revenue for us so total cost what we incurring just in time minus our savings so this is basically this two are savings in cost hence reduce from total cost right so net cost would be 24300 and 24000 as we are shifting to incremental approach uh, sorry as we are shifting to our just in time approach there is a incremental cost of 300 rupees hence it is not advisable to go for just in time purchase but what if i go for just in time production 
so this is this production tagline now it is of question number 13 what we have done right so the what there was in the four periods as i said the demand is of 120 160 140 and 180 but on an average in the present we will produce 150 units right so the same way what we have done in question number 13 150 150 150 150 150 the demand is 120 160 140 180 so we will be carrying 30 units you, that will become opening over here you will be carrying 20 units that will become opening over here and your carrying cost would be 30 units plus 0 30 units plus 0 divided by 2 that is 15 units that is average stock is opening plus closing divided by 2 right so opening plus closing divided by 2 so 30 plus 20 over here it will be 25 30 plus 20 divided by 2 it will be 25 and into carrying cost will be 65 per unit that is what it is mentioned over here see this would be the overtime cost will be to an average monthly cost of is 65 so if i go for production it will cost me 65 and 20 man hours you are producing each unit labor rate is 3 per hour over time would be 200 percent now moving further the same approach if i go for demand right uh, that is my total carrying cost would be 5200 over here like same like question number 13 what we have done correct now if i go for demand on the basis of production of just in time demand basis if i go so first 120 120 fulfilled my total capacity is of 150 right 160 so 10 are required time i will go for overtime if i go for overtime 20 hours would be required so 20 hours the cost would be for 20 hours uh, that would be required for 10 units and my overtime cost would be 6 per hour right so that is what my overtime cost would be and over here also same 180 150 so 30 would be required 30 into 600 total hours and 36 so 4800 is the total overtime cost that would be required now 5200 is the carrying cost that is additional you are doing when your production and 4800 is the overtime cost that you are doing hence there would be a saving of 400 and hence just in time production is advisable but just in time purchase is not advisable and if you consider my answer for both whether just in time is to be followed then i would say if i follow just in time both in purchase and production my saving will be of 100 rupees because 300 is the additional cost in purchase 400 is the savings over here so additional saving will be of 100 rupees right now in this scenario what i want to explain over here if you concentrate on this question very important where i want you people to concentrate see the whole production when it was talking of on average of 150 units when you are producing right your labor will take 20 hours right 20 hours would be required for your labor so the variable cost of labor 20 hours per unit would be required so 20 hours into uh, the cost of that per hour is of 3 rupees so 20 hours into 3 for every unit 150 150 150 150 will remain same 20 into 150 that is 120 150 140 would remain same for the just in time also in question number 30 what happened was it was 30 30 32.5 and 35 so we calculated variable cost also understand we calculate the additional variable cost would incur for here the labor cost is 20 hours into 3 for all the four periods so whether i produce 120 right now or 150 right now the cost of production for per unit of labor would remain same per unit right so this may happen that 120 i am producing in period 1 and in the current situation i am producing 150 so basically 30 extra i am uh, producing and because of that 30 extra i will incur a cost of 30 into labor but understand in period 2 in period 2 what will happen is as your demand is of 160 you will be producing 10 more over there 150 in the uh, plan 1 160 in plan 2 right so ultimately what will happen is in all the four period the labor cost would remain same because it is 3 per hour for all the four periods right irrespective of the number of units that are produced but the overtime would be the additional cost and that is the reason why in question 13 we compared variable cost in plan 1 with variable plan because 30, 30, 30.5, 30 35 was changing. Over here we are not comparing the cost of labor 20 hours into 3. Why? 
because there is remaining same for all the four zeros. But yes, very important is there is a cost of overtime in the two periods and that is the additional cost what I am comparing over here, right. So, a small note I want you people to note this down over here. What I want to note this down is that what in this question we are learning when it comes to just in time uh, production, what I want to mention over here is that labor cost, what is happening is labor cost of production is not compared because it will remain same for sorry it will remain same for all the period and hence only overtime cost overtime cost is required to be computed right in bracket i can write down refer question number 13 of skill based question Right, from there you will get an idea that why we are doing in question number 13 and not in question number 5. Right, so with this, I, I am concluding a concept of just in time. We have done three questions over here uh, that is, a question number of 13, question number 15, and question number 5 of skill based questions for our skilled uh, case study digest series. Right, so I hope this is very important and this is useful for you, and this will be very, very helpful when it comes to your concept of solution in your exam. Importantly, question number 5, the last question what we have done is a must do revision question for your just in time concept and in our revision classes also we have special given in the material, our uh, special charts or special slides what we have provided. From there you can do a just in time a theory revision in a short term quick revision as well you can go through our other videos of revision sessions or brief sessions to understand just in time very well. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this.